Hi. So, I have six minis of perfume with me right now today for this video, and I will be rating each of them one by one. I recently went on a mini so holding spree, and I got a bunch of perfumes from Amazon. Some of them are also from store. By the way, before I start rating, you need to know something about scent in general. Something that lasts on me or something that smells good on me might not smell good on you because you and I we both have different scent prints. What is scent print? You may ask. It's basically the characteristics of your skin or how it reacts. to a particular fragrance or bottle of fragrance it depends on a lot of factors of your skin for example your skin type whether it's dry combination or oily or it is uh, your body temperature a lot of other things to be honest which makes your skin different and unique from mine it also plays a major role in determining how any fragrance is going to last on you or smell on you i personally know that woody and musky fragrance doesn't last or smell like anything after some like one or two hours so i avoid any perfume that is purely woody musky or warm kind of perfumes i need some kind of blend either citrusy fruity or floral and that's the reason i tend to go for that those perfumes because these kind of notes expresses their prominence on my skin and you can sense the presence of these scent on my skin Wow, that was a tongue twister. Okay, so I will be going from lowest priced to the highest price. By the way, all the perfumes are below five hundred. So the first one is Joey Portable Perfume in the variant Winter Secret. This one I picked from a Miniso store, and at that time I didn't notice that this is a men's perfume, and that's why it has all the signature qualities of any men's perfume. It's minty. It has an aqua vibe. This is not my go-to perfume or go-to choice most of the time. I throw it in my purse just in case in an emergency purpose when I don't have any uh, other option and I have had probably a long day outside. I will reach out to this one to feel fresh and refresh myself a little bit. This one. Retails for only two hundred rupees, and for that, I think this lasts like pretty decent, like one hour or two hour maximum. And if you are a man, probably you will like it, or maybe you can gift it to someone, some man in your life. Overall, I will give this one a rating of like seven out of ten because it performs pretty well for what it is priced at. Next one is the Blissful Bouquet Blooming, and this one retails for only two sixty rupees. This one is a pure jasmine slash mogra perfume. All you mogra lovers, you are gonna love this. If you are following. Me for a while, you will know that I have a special place in my heart for jasmine and rose fragrances. These two, out of all the flower fragrances, these two are like my favorite, my go-to. And I have been hunting a good jasmine fragrance for a while now. Uh, most of the time, you will find a jasmine fragrance that is way too pungent and is synthetic jasmine. Means there will be a alcohol kind of scent to it, which I don't like and gives me a lot of headache. Uh, but finally, I found one that is like a pure jasmine, and it feels like somebody has juiced out jasmine. Flower and pour it into a bottle. It feels like that because uh, back in the days, like I'm talking about ten years back, when we used to get ready for our dance performances, Mogra flower was a mandatory to be. there on our bun for our hairstyle and the entire green room used to smell like jasmine those were some days so yeah it's my favorite fragrance and i have finally found one of the best jasmine fragrance it lasts on me for 4 hours surprisingly and smells heavenly i also get a lot of compliment every time i try this by the way see i have used it a lot ye yahan tak filled tha uh, you get a lot of quantity for this i must say the city scape range from mini so looks so pretty the first one that i'm going to talk about is sunrise bali morning this is a recent addition actually this one gives you a vibe like you are on a vacation you are in uh, you have gone for a tropical location where there is breezy ocean kind of vibe and there is a lot of flora and fauna around there are a lot of greenery and flowers and you just you're just in a such a peaceful and fresh mood this gives that kind of a vibe i like uh, the fact that this has a nice blend of citrusy notes as well as uh, you know floral notes this has rose in it which i I'm not able to make out, but I think that makes this one so special and so unique. I've never tried something like this. I have like almost tried like forty perfumes so far. Never ever scented something like this. If you love fresh, sweet. Not too sweet, but fresh and sweet perfume. Then you are gonna love this. Give this one a try. This one retails for only four sixty rupees. On my skin, this one lasts for like three hours. Not too long. Uh, I was expecting it to last a little bit longer, but nonetheless, I don't mind that. So I'm gonna give this one a rating of. 
how much am i going to rate 8 out of 10 the next variant is called iceland aurora shine and this is my favorite like look at the bottle this is also a recent addition and i have gone through so much of this perfume because this is my after shower perfume this is a rare blend of freshness mixed with a lot of sweet feminine fragrance love this i just i just simply love this this fragrance blows my mind i remember there used to be a particular fiamma devils body wash and shower gel that smells exactly like this almost pretty pretty close and i used to use that shower gel like almost every single month uh, i have gone through bottles of that shower gel like four years back that was my only shower gel and also it lasts on me really well like you can smell this even after seven hours in my in my body this is like a mind blowing find for me and i'm so proud that i found this love this one <sighs> Okay, this is the only perfume that I'm gonna give a 10 out of 10 because this is currently my signature perfume. The last two are from this range. One is, I forgot the range by the way. One is Warm Earth, another one is Ginger White. Now first, let's talk about the Warm Earth. This one smells exactly like its name and I'll tell you what it smells like. You will feel like you are traveling through a muddy road in a village. There is a lot of trees, a grass around. It's not like petrichor, but it's muddy. Like it's, there's a lot of depth and warmth to it. And I'm sure that if you can put this off you're gonna smell like a very warm and cozy person and a very welcoming kind of a person i know that there are people out there who loves this kind of fragrance but it's just not my type of fragrance you know uh, i have read a lot of good reviews about this also on amazon so this also retains for 460 rupees so i think budget may this is a really great option uh, i will give it an 8 out of 10 because i know that this will last really well on others maybe not on me and also this is a unique blend which i have never uh, experienced before the last one is ginger white this one is such a clever blend of sweetness with spiciness uh, and i'm sure that if you guys remember back in the days when we were kids there was this uh, ponds boro plus and fair and lovely cream just like signature fragrance hota tha. whenever our mother and nani they used to apply we used to get like there would be this signature scent and this bottle smells exactly like those vintage cold creams because my nani used to use a cream that smelled exactly like this i don't remember if it is from ponds or fair and lovely but something along those lines you know and also this one smells really heavenly on me i like the fragrance not the creams by the way i like the fragrance and i'm glad that this is available in a bottle miniso is really clever and smart with and creative with their fragrance formulation and that's what baffles me about their uh, fragrance range i feel like trying everything from their <laughs> range to be honest but yeah this is my second favorite out of all the miniso perfumes that i have first one has to be the iceland aurora shine one lasts on my skin for around how long uh, four hours maximum not as great as the shine one but i don't expect too much from these perfumes and also these are all under 500 rupees so if you are in a tight budget i highly recommend try out miniso perfumes you are not going to be disappointed okay so that is it for today's video i will leave the link to all the products in the description box i hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful if you did then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel let me know below in the comment section if there is any other video request you have i will see you soon in the next one